of Arizona, Demir Dugunic. Slovenia has a lot of short course swimming. He was a very fine swimmer at Cal. 50.3 for Gotso. And uh, the lead is extending now. And if you can have safe starts, there's no way the Europeans are going to win. As long as the Americans do not get DQ'd, it's not going to happen. And boy, uh, they need this. <laughs> they really need it. Uh, 21 points down. The gap by having two victories, but getting one uh, at least makes it 14 points, and this is exactly what the Europeans wanted just to be able to get a split. So now Tom Shields going in for the United States for Team Europe will be Ivan Lenyer. Remember the history of the mutual of Omaha duel in the pool. Five prior duels, the United States has won all five easily against either an Aussie team or a European team. This one doesn't shape up to be easy. Now with zero and a 21 point lead. Great split, by the way, for Cortez there, 56 flat. That's faster than the American record split of Mike Alexandrov at 56 5. Again, no contest here for the Americans. Again, I'd like to see that exchange from Godso to Cortez. We're going to see it over and over again if he falls started. Frenchman on yell. This is exactly what we saw in the limit. Yeah, again, a great anchor leg of Agnell, same as Romano. He had that miracle, remember, a couple years ago in London when he went by the Americans in that free relay, went by Ryan Lochte. But this is, again, just too much to make up. A lot of chop out there from all these walls, running into that, that hard wash. It's just too difficult. It's not going to happen. Not big it actually. 50 builds on the lead and again a needed win for Team USA. Seven points. That will cut into what is right now a fairly healthy lead for Team Europe. And well done. That was as it was for Team Europe's women. That was a team relay win. It was, wasn't it? because it was close. There's Godso right there coming in. On the blocks is Kevin Cordes. As he takes that last stroke, you're, yeah, oh yeah, that's a plenty safe. He's just so quick. He's got that lightning quick reflex. The plenty safe, so the feet have to be on the block when the hand touches the wall. You can be extended out. Cordes pulling away there in that front stroke. Here's the third exchange. Certainly safe from here on out. Good save. Oh, he's going to take a little coffee break there. Jimmy Feagin could have. That was very good on the end. And the finish wraps it up for the USA. And halfway point, though, 14 points down. And now Carolyn has the winning American men's relay team. Congratulations, guys, picking up some much-needed points. This event is unique for so many reasons, but in a relay situation in particular, you going up against just one other swimmer. How does that change your approach to this relay? Uh, well, you kind of know all the summer series, so you know what your competition is, you know their strengths, you know their weaknesses, so it's important to capitalize on that inside the race, and uh, you also know the strengths and weaknesses of your of your fellow swimmers behind you, so they, may, uh, they make it really easy on us. You guys being down by more than 20 points, how important was it for you guys to come out and execute on this relay? You know, I think coming into the meet, we maybe thought the Europeans would be an easy team to beat. 
but they've proven us wrong so far in the meet, so it's up to us to take control. Congratulations, guys. So the American men give Team USA seven vastly important points, narrows the Team Europe lead to 14 following these two relays.